Now in this video I am trying to discuss the important issue regarding to find a novel or an interesting topic in order to reach to high impact journals. So tips and tricks to find a novel topics will be discussed in this video. If you are struggling to find the research topic for your new research proposal or research article or for your dissertation or maybe you found a topic but you are not sure whether this is a right topic to increase your chances of successfully completing your MSc or PhD degree. Well, this video will help you and I'm going to show you incredible or an incredible effective steps to find or to choose the right and interesting research topic. So now if you are new here, my name is Bashtar and I am academic editor in most of the um, impact factor journals and also I am working as a peer reviewer in more than 40 high impact factor journals including regenerative medicine, the impact factor is uh, 14 and molecular cancer nature impact factor is 37 and so on. So let's see how you can apply these strategies to choose a really novel and hot topic for your work. Based on the papers, uh, the topic also can be divided into two different um, things. First one, the review topic or research topic. For the review paper, you have to find a novel topic, which is called review topic. And review topics involve summarizing and synthesizing existing knowledge on a specific subject. It means the review paper depends on the brain power, whereas the research topic or research paper, it involves the generation of new knowledge through experimental, through experimental studies or investigation. It means the research paper or research topic for the research paper, it, it, it depends on the uh, muscle power instead of brain power. But now today we try to focus on review papers, how to find a novel topic for review paper. So the content of this video, we try to answer the following questions. First, what's a research idea or novel topic? Then what are the main elements of research topic and how much time does it take? Then how can we find a novel topic based on PubMed and Google Scholar search engine? Then how to create or find a novel topic in journal special issues? So the novel topic, we can define it, it refers to a novel concept or novel hypothesis or novel approach, or we can say it's a question that has not been discussed or explored extensively or not shown in previous academic published papers. So the most important thing for the uh, topic is element. So what are the topic elements? It has three uh, main elements. The first one, research gap. The first one, research gap, which is the most important one. A topic within the field where there is lack of research. Research gap, it means lack of research or the existing studies are limited or maybe limited. Or we can say issues or questions that remain unanswered or insufficient addressed in the current literature. So this is the research gap. And the second one, insights from the other disciplines. Insights from the other disciplines, it means that you have to learn from the others. You have to learn from the other people in order to reach the high impact topic. You, you have to discuss with your colleagues. So collaboration between experts from different discipline or discussion or learn from others lead to increase the novelty of the subject or topic and also it encourages the innovation 
this is the, an important element of research topic than the last one personal personal experiences so uh, in order to be expert person you should do some things personal exper experience it means your knowledge and your passion so in order to increase your knowledge or to be knowledgeable person first you have to select your scientific keywords which is most important thing in here keywords you have to have some scientific keywords based on your field then after putting or having your keywords go to search and read your scientific keywords then make a link between these keywords in order to find a novel topic make a link between your uh, keywords in order to find the hot topic then you can write it down and send it for journals in order to be published these are three key elements for novel topic the first it contains research gap it should has a research gap it should learn from the others and also a personal experience it should be included so the the thing between or among these three elements is called your impact research topic your impact research topic so the research topic the impact of your research topic will be increased by increasing your the insights or other disciplines or your personal experiences or by 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 finding a new research gap these are some elements necessary for a new topic or a novel topic then the the approaches or innovation approaches the ways to find a new uh, topic what are the different ways first one we can say scientific activities so scientific activities in include seminars attending seminars and uh, workshops also uh, we can say engaging in other activities conferences symposium participation or attending seminars workshops or also reviewing journal articles these are scientific activities then the second one a journal discussion journal discussion for example if you are a peer reviewer or editor in any journal you can discuss a specific to to topics in order to uh, bring a new one so this this is the journal discussion among peer reviewers or uh, journal editors and reading recent articles so reading recent article is a fundamental practice for studying uh, or updating on the last development this is necessary in order it's necessary if you want to find a novel one you have to read and read and again read more then the last one critical appraisal discussion critical appraisal discussion it means um, you can bring a recent published article and discuss the recent uh, information and evaluate the strength and weakness points in order to uh, find the novelty of the paper and also identify the gaps the gaps and uh, try to find unanswering questions so these are brings new idea these are brings new idea now how we can find a novel topic based on a search engine for example pubmed and google scholar now let's see uh, we, we we have to focus on the search engine if you don't have enough time just you can go to uh, pubmed look this is the pubmed write down pubmed and go to advance in advance you should search firstly in here all the fields instead we don't want all the fields we don't want search to the author or to the books we want to search the title you should select the title then in here you can write down the keywords for example 
I want to find a novel topic on some of the uh, novel interesting keywords. Cancer. Look, cancer. This is the first keyword. I want to find the role of microRNA. microRNA in cancer progression. Okay, let's look now search. Now search. There are 442 papers. 442 papers. Now we want to find the review articles. These are just review articles. Without review articles, I think, yes, the, the, the paper numbers that increased into 1,239. So we cannot find a novel one. These are a lot of uh, papers. So I have to what? I have to increase the our keywords. Now, I will repeat it. All the field changes to the title. Choose title. Then in here, uh, instead of cancer, we can write breast cancer. Breast cancer. Cancer is general. You can write only... Uh, one type of the cancer okay breast cancer this is the first keyword we want to find rule of microRNA in breast cancer but not only these two we have to uh, specify it for example cancer it, it, it has uh, how many more than 10 hallmarks of cancer. I want to study the role of microRNA in breast cancer in angiogenesis. In angiogenesis. Angiogenesis. Okay, let's see. Now we have to uh, search for three keywords. Rule of microRNA in breast cancer angiogenesis. Means how microRNA can increase the breast cancer through angiogenesis hallmark, through angiogenesis process. Let's see. Yes, we have three results. We want to find a review. These are pub recent published article, research paper, and reviews. We want to just review. Let's see. Yes, it has only, it shows only one paper, and the paper the various rule of microRNAs. So it means also we have, the, the topic is not new. We will search again. Instead of angiogenesis, we try to put a new or other keyword. Now search engine, instead of angiogenesis, I'll write apoptosis. Apoptosis process, cell death. Let's see rule of microRNA in breast cancer progression through apoptosis process. Now, 13 papers there. We want to only review papers. Is there any review papers? No, congratulations. Now your topic is a new one. This is a novel. If anyone wants to write, he can search and uh, write down the subtopics for this topic and it will be easy. Rule of microRNA in breast cancer apoptosis process. And so on. If you have any uh, keywords, just firstly you have to write it down, your keywords, and make a link, then search in uh, search engines such as PubMed. For the Google Scholar, it's the same. It's the same. For example, in here, I will write it down, the Google Scholar. Google Scholar. Google Scholar, yes. Go to Google Scholar search. Write it down. Just you have to go to there. This and choose advanced search. Write it down the first keyword, for example, breast cancer breast cancer and you want to link with what link with again micro rna or long encoding rna it depends on your keywords 
So uh, you have to specify it more. For example, microRNA and CRISPR. This is a new technology. CRISPR can inhibit microRNA in order to limit the breast cancer progression. Let's see. But you have to select in the title. I want to find any papers or all the papers based on these three keywords. These keywords should be presented in where? In the title only. So select in the title of the article only. And let's see. There is no any paper and you can write it again on this topic. Breast cancer, CRISPR and microRNA. So these are some um, strategies you can apply it in order to find a novel topic for your review article. And thank you.